Hey guys, Alex here from MarketWise Asia. So for the past one or two weeks or so, okay, the market, namely the S&P, you know, the Nasdaq hasn't been really performing well. So this is the chart that you can see right now. It is actually the S&P 500 futures. You can see that the market generally for the past uh, one week or so has been coming down. And yesterday, as I'm doing this video, 1st of August, the first day of August, there was a sell-off in the S&P futures, generally in the market. Lah, okay, uh, the S&P was down minus 1.4%. Okay, the Nasdaq is down 2.4%. And the Russell 2000, the smaller cap companies, it is was down about 3.3%. Uh, but, you know, all in all, okay, this is a case study that I want to share with you that, you know, against uh, all the trends, right, okay, uh, we actually caught, okay, uh, one stock, okay, that is against the trend and has been going up. And this is part of the uh, seasonal vantage insiders list uh, as well. So just this company, it is actually, okay, I'll share with you the case study is actually called, okay, the Marathon Petroleum uh, Corporation. Of course, by looking at the company name, okay, you should know that this is an uh, oil and gas energy sector company. So this is the uh, MPC, MPC. So you can see over there, energy, mineral, oil refining. This is the energy uh, sector stocks. Okay. Before I go into uh, the chart uh, itself, right? Okay. So just want to share with you how we actually uh, caught this stock, how we actually know about these stocks. Okay. So from the seasonal vantage insiders, this is the uh, members area. Okay. That the uh, members obviously have. Right. So you know, besides the uh, reports that I give them, this is where they download the data sheet. Okay. And this is the uh, members uh, area. Okay, so let's head over to the members area first. So the members area. So every single week, right, uh, I will share with them the uh, weekly video update on what I think of the market, what are some of the stocks that you should be looking out for, whether you should go for a long, whether you go for a short, but generally, okay, it is going for a long now. But actually this week, actually, I actually uh, asking my members to can be looking for shorting opportunities, but not that aside, right? So when I first uh, mentioned about the Marathon Petroleum Company, right? It was on the, it was on the 15th of uh, July. So that was about two weeks ago. So of course, you know, this is the uh, summary. I did this video and this is the summary by AI. Uh, blah, 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 not the important. Okay, the important is over here. Okay, so this is the weekly uh, watch list. So I actually told my members what are some of the stocks that you know, they could be looking out for. Okay, so I mentioned by Apple, uh, and Vestnet, uh, Marathon, Petroleum uh, over here, okay? But the key thing is, okay, uh, based on the trigger signal, okay, that uh, we often use, right, only Mar Marathon, Petroleum, MPC fulfill the criteria. So we did not actually enter into AAPL and Vestnet, okay? And that aside, I also look at the sector analysis, okay? I mentioned that, okay, the energy sector, okay? If it is going up, okay, for crude oil, we could see a short-term rise, okay, before, declining towards the end of uh, July. So you can see, okay, you can actually see that oil starting to go down, you know, a bit earlier, but you know, yesterday it also went down quite a bit as well. And I also mentioned that bonds particularly expected to perform well in July. When I say well in July, actually it's typically the later part of July, like, because on this date, it is already 15th of July already. So you can see, uh, other than we talk about MPC, right? You can see that this uh, TLT, okay, you can see that recently has been going higher, okay, going higher ever since the uh, you know, 15 here. There was a pullback. I said, wait for a trigger, wait for a trigger first, okay. The trigger actually came on this day over there, okay, at about 92.51, okay. But I was away in Bangkok, lah. so so I didn't take this trade. But you no, know, if if uh, the members took this trade again, they will be in very uh, good profit right now for a swing trade. Okay, so uh, this is just a side topic. Okay, so let me go back to the uh, the MPC. So this is the MPC. So you know, as I mentioned over there, the members area do have the data sheet. Okay, the data sheet it is uh, over here. The seasonal vantage uh, reports over there. So there's a bullish stocks, bullish ETF, and then bearish stocks and bearish uh, ETF. As well, so this is a sample of the stocks that you know uh, they will be uh, getting. Okay, all right. So I really filtered already. So within that period of time, right? Okay, it is actually from the fourteen. I think it's from the uh, 
from the let me take a look huh? from the 14th to 21st of july lah. so you know i already pre-filtered already so like right, no uh 15 18 to 19 that kind lah, okay and uh obviously i actually uh hit i hit the uh, uh closing date and i hit the also the calendar days lah. so but if you are inside that you will actually get the full data so you know uh every week i'll go through uh the watch list so every single week in fact you know what are the exact you know uh, stocks that you could be watching out for so this is a very very uh, focused list so you know i look through some of them you know and i actually this company as i mentioned right the mpc okay caught my attention let me just try to zoom in over there okay mpc over here so marathon petroleum corporation from the 18th of july okay and the closing date is actually until the end of july lah, okay 18th of july to the end of july for the past 12 years okay 92 percent of time okay it closed higher within this favorable day and the average profit percentage is six percent it is under the energy sector the industry is under oil gas and consumer fuels so we already have a kind of a target a watch list and then there was a trigger as well so when i first mentioned it was uh, on the 15th of uh, july so of course you know there about on that week we'll keep a watch list and see whether there is a trigger for us to enter into uh, the stocks so let's head over to mpc uh, again mpc it is over here so when i first uh, mentioned when i first mentioned it is you know on the 15th of uh, july okay on the 15th of july it is actually this uh blue vertical line over here okay uh yeah 15th of july okay so i actually mentioned that you know actually on the friday 12th of july there was actually a trigger already okay so on 15th of july okay personally okay i also took this trade up so this is the 15th of uh, july i entered into here so i just removed this uh, vertical line so you no know, there was a, a trigger for us to enter after you know a series of downtrend okay the favorable seasonal uh, dip is with us and, and then uh, crude oil okay, also seasonally it is not too bad as well okay and of course there are other uh, criteria okay which i won't uh, tell you in this uh, video okay anyway so I entered into this uh, 15th of July over here. So it, it took some time. It took some time. Okay. You can see that, you know, uh, this, all this while, while the uh, crude oil, while the crude oil, 15th of July, right? Okay. While crude oil, 15th of July, 15th of July, it is over here. Okay. While it is, you know, going down all the way, even though supposedly seasonally, it should be a little bit stronger towards the end of the month. Okay but it did not okay but but you can see you can see that for mpc it actually held on uh pretty well okay of course we do set a, a stop loss level somewhere below the low of the swing low over there okay and we do uh had a kind of a, a consolidation but it still held very well and then you can see you can actually see okay this uh, red little arrow over there like this is where i actually uh, took profit because i actually link it to my brokerage account in trading view okay so we if i add in my usual uh indicator right the cloud plus the cpr so you can actually uh, uh see you can actually see that you know i actually took profit at the central pivot range over here so after that okay after that i actually told my members that you know you should uh take some profit you know if they sorry it's not here you should take some profit okay if uh you could okay because towards the end of the month you no know, crude oil and such it is seasonally uh, uh not so strong over there so this is uh 15 okay so when i uh first uh, came back okay so you can see that uh mentioned about is it mentioned about that note about crude oil before declining towards the end of uh, July, okay? And I also said that stock review, I mentioned that, you know, uh, APL, Apple and Investment did not present any trigger, but MPC, I entered holding well in the energy sector, looking to exit at the end of July, even it did not hit my stop loss. Of course, you know, it depends on the, the trader itself, whether, you know, to, to manage the trade itself, 
right? And then this is 22nd of July, okay? And then, you know, of course, it's the latest one. So you can see that, you know, uh, this was actually, you know, I exited over here. The risk to reward, the reward to risk ratio is there about a slightly less than one. So if the members did not uh, exit immediately, maybe they hold on for maybe one or two more days and such, right? You can see that, okay, this was a very, you know, a nice swing up. This was a very nice swing up. at the peak. You can see that at the top over here, at the top over here, okay, I think the risk re reward to risk ratio, I think there will be at least, you know, uh, two, which means that if you risk uh, $1,000 for the trade, okay, your, your crypto will be $2,000. So this was a very, very uh, good trade. And this is actually against the trend when the whole market market as in the S&P uh, 500 and the uh, Nasdaq, it is generally uh, coming down. And even though crude oil was coming down, okay, uh, this is, you know, back up against the trend and it, it performed really, really well, okay? And of course, you know, this is what I actually uh, showcase, okay, to them in the uh, members area. So not only you have the members uh, area, okay, there are also master classes, okay, on different uh, topics that I share with the uh, students, okay, and then a webinar, all these are recorded in the members area as well. And most importantly, okay, this is the data sheet that I presented them. So the data sheet, you know, uh, every single week, okay, we know exactly, you know, uh, what to trade. So uh, for this coming week, also nothing surprising, okay, we also really have a very focused uh, list on what to trade really, for, for example, August okay, and September for the next uh, two to three months or so. So what I'm trying to say there is that you know, all these are uh, already so-called pre-planned. I already know okay what to trade in the coming week, and I provide the value by giving my uh, students members okay uh, value-added service to share with them what I'm watching out for. Okay, so if you you know uh, learn something in this video, you know, get some value, okay, do subscribe our YouTube channel, also hit a like uh, button on the channel. Thanks so much, and see you again, and bye bye.